Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna talk about Elsa. Let's take a look at her stats first. Her attack stats is lower than 5 stars attacker such as Orlando, but it is still quite high. She gets 70% attack boost from her passive, which are pretty good. She also deal 50% extra damage to human and demon. For defensive, she gets 50% dark resist and health plus 20%. Dark Aegis also buff her defense and spirit by 30% when your health goes below 30%. But I don't find this useful because you probably already getting buff from your support. And like other 5 stars, she also has auto refresh. Now let's take a look at her abilities. I will talk about the abilities awakening once I have finished talking about all her abilities. The first is Ravaging Blow. This is probably the highest defense and spirit break ability in this game. Inflicting this means twice damage to the enemy. However, the main problem with this skill is right now, Gami like to make the boss resist against defense and spirit break. When they do that, then this skill becomes just a normal attacking skill with an average damage. The next is Madness Rush. This skill was really good on the past. Nice damage multiplier and increase her LB gauge charge rate. But right now it's all about chaining. Skill like this mean you won't be able to chain all your attack which lead to mediocre damage. So I don't think this kind of skill still relevant on this point of the game. Her LB Soul Eclipse, it has a lot of hits which can be chained with others. It also fix her weakness for not having any AOE attack. By equipping Tablet Ruin on her, she will feel her LB gauge very fast. The damage may be small because it is not affected by dual wield. Also, if you find the enemy who resists against Dark Elemental, then this is become completely useless. Now let's take a look at her mediocre skill. The first is Dark Prayer. I don't think this one is good. First, because Elsa herself doesn't resist to any ailments. So you cannot cure dangerous ailments such as Paralyze. She cannot do anything while you are being paralyzed. This means she only able to cure something like silence, which is useless because she doesn't use magic, poison, and disease. I think it is better to have others to let do that thing. The buff seem nice, but I believe you already have buff from others. And because the buff doesn't stack in this game, I don't think you should use this ability. The last is Dark Favor. This will be good if you are a tanker. But because you are not, then I don't think you should bother with this. Defense will solve 90% case from threshold attack. So you don't need this. So if you know the enemy powerful attack gonna come to you, then simply guard. I believe she will be able to survive. It is different than Queen's auto life because Queen's auto life skill has a purpose to trigger her berserk. Not mentioning Riku will be available soon, so I don't think you still need this. But yeah, maybe on certain situation you need this. Yeah, so I don't think you will use this a lot, okay? Now let's take a look at her abilities awakening. In my opinion, the first ability you need to prioritize is Dark Reaper. First, it is a passive, which means it will affect all your skills. The second reason is the increase is quite nice. By maxing this skill, you will get a total of 120% attack boost and 100% dark, 100 dark resistance. Not mentioning you don't need to spend any tier 5 Chris or pure Chris to level this up. However, because the increase of stats are non-linear, I suggest you to simply level up it once. 
25% increase on the maximum level may be not worth for, for almost double Chris requirement. The next is ravaging blow. You only need to put one level on this skill because yeah, it is cheap, but it may be not worth to max it because you only get 5% increase on the break effect. There is a damage increase too, but remember, the buff is the main point of this skill. At maximum level, maybe you can use this as a finisher, but the cost is expensive. I think it is better to spend the shard for Firion or other real finisher instead investing on this one. The last is Madness Rush. I don't think I can recommend you this skill first because like I said, you can attain this skill really well. They can fix it with the damage buff and the darkness resist debuff. So this means you need to max it to get benefit from this skill. Level it up once will not upgrade this skill greatly. So your only option for these skills is either zero upgrade or maximum upgrade. Maxing this one make Elza become Dark Landu. I really cannot recommend you to max this one because in my opinion, Elza herself is not that good. Not mentioning you need to have her trustmaster reward to be able to get maximum benefit from this attack. If not, the 50% more dark damage is useless because yeah, you don't have any dark element weapon. The only spear that has dark element is Elza Trustmaster Reward. Not mentioning if you meet the enemy who resists against dark element. Yeah, sure, it will enhance her LB damage, but remember that LB is not affected by dual wield. So still, bad skill in my opinion. Enough about abilities, let's talk about equipment. I think her equipment is pretty straightforward as she only able to equip spear as her main weapon. I think it is better to give her wisdom instead of quick assault because yeah, she will get benefit from the auto life, okay? Mm, and then I'm not sure if you are veteran players and you have both tablet ruins, I'm not, I'm not sure whether they stack or not, but if they stack, then yeah, equip it because it is easy 20% increase on your attack and don't forget you will get 200% in LB fuel rate. But yeah, that's only if they stack. My conclusion for her is she was one of the best hero in the past, but right now she fall out really fast. In ability to equip other weapons except spear really limit her build. She doesn't have real chain or finisher skills, which make her quite mediocre right now. You can awaken her abilities to make her quite relevant for this game right now. But that will cost you a lot of resources. Her Trustmaster reward weapon because you need dark elemental weapon. And a lot of Chris. Sure, she can debuff enemy defense and spirit greatly. But it is more important to have attack or magic debuff. Most of the hard trial bosses are also resist to debuff anyway. I give her 8.5 before awakening and 9 out of 10 after awaken all her abilities. But I don't recommend you to awaken her abilities because the reaper has fallen. So yep, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy. Brave XCS guy. Bye bye guys.